Hello everybody, welcome to the video. So my name is Owen Fox and in this video I want to say and talk about finding your life purpose and your life, your calling, etc, etc, etc. Because just to get straight into it, <clears throat> I see a lot of people um, finding like pressure in in what I listen to and just generally the work that I do with my own personal consultations and just various different stuff that I come across in life. People are have an exaggerated over the top view of like what they think they're supposed to be doing in life. So it's a whole lot of like programs, self judgment and belief systems. Good morning, Deanna. Like what I should, it should, shoulds don't exist everyone. So it's a whole idea like what I should be doing and what I'm supposed to be doing. What have I come here for? <clears throat> and, um, what I want to say is what, what you've come here for and what you should and supposed to be doing is basically what you've done so far and what you are doing. And if you like, there's nothing you should or supposed to be doing whatsoever. Like you don't have a job coming to earth. Like, and if you, if you feel or believe you do, it's going to become self-evident clearly to you. You don't have to force it or rush it or get stressed about what you think you're doing. And if you don't like your current job and you feel like you should be doing something different, well then listen to your feelings. Like if you don't like your current job, career, business, um, etc then all you got to do is look for another job or potentially even quit your job if you have the means to do that at the moment um, and be creative so what my life purpose is and what I feel your life purpose is for sure is self-evident and that is to experience life <laughs> and to create and that's what you're doing all the time anyway from the day you were born so from the day you were born you were experiencing life and you've been creating so we are creator beings of divine timelessness or whatever but in this true dimensional reality time space with time and space our brain perceives time our consciousness perceives time in this this dimension um we get the, the beautiful experience of tasting the dish of life to taste the experience of life tasting it deliciously slowly and it's like a gorgeous palatable palatable experience <clears throat> and you can't fail because every time you experience something you don't like, you learn what you want even greater. For example, if you hate school or institutions, you have a great desire burning within you that you want to be become more freelance or, or like less institutionalized, like do things more your own way, like be your own, <clears throat> be your own um, businesswoman or businessman. And that's what I've done in my own life, in my own business and my own, my own learning. I learn myself. Um, through YouTube and and books and through life's experiencing and and looking at my myself and my my life reflecting and learning becoming wiser, so you can't fail at life, you can't get it wrong, and finally the second thing is you can you can't get you never get it done because life is constant stream ever going forward in in the continuous stream of now moments and so this is where life is always in the now moment. Like if you look right around you where you are now visually watching me and watching the room or the place this is your life so this is your life purpose your life purpose as Eckhart Tolle would surely say and I'm sure he said it before is right now this is your life purpose and as Abraham would say um, actually wait a minute get him back to Eckhart Tolle so, so enjoy your life right now everyone this is your life your life is never not now it's always now so to have a good life you have to develop a good relationship with the now and that's like a very deep and profound teaching, everyone. And not everyone, we all don't have the blessing, so, so to speak, at this moment to get that right now. And I'm still learning too. So you, ne you cannot fail, you never get it done. And the reason why you never get it done is because you never arrive. Because in every new arrival now moment, then you're going into the next moment. And in every now moment, you experience contrast and diversity. You experience things that you like and you experience things you don't like. And with everything, you, as I said already, that you experience that you don't like, it breeds and borns and blossoms a desire for something that you do want, which is generally opposite to what you don't like. So, for example, if you're in a relationship that has like a lot of stress, anguish or fighting or arguing, it's continuously building a fire within you underneath your bum that you really want a relationship that's like more harmonious, peaceful, nicer communication, closer intimacy and connection, sweeter moments. So... That's the beautiful thing about life. Everything, like in Chi in Japanese or Chinese, the word for problem is also basically has the meaning and word for is the same sort of meaning. Within the word is the, the also the meaning of opportunity. <laughs> so this is exactly what I'm saying. And the Chinese are so wise with the adverbs. Hi, Julie. Hello, dear Owen. <laughs> 
Hi, Amy. Hi, everyone watching. Welcome to the video. Hope you're enjoying. <clears throat> so that's the great news. You cannot fail and you can never get it done. So the, the teaching in never getting it done is life is not about the creation. It's about the creating. And I heard that from Abraham and it resonated very profoundly. Like, it's not about, it's not so much about like having the house done, having, you know, being there or getting it. It's, it's about creating and making and arriving there. It's not about finishing the dinner. It's about tasting and enjoying the food or the dinner. <sighs> So that is really truly the magic of life. So, so that's what life. So that's what your life purpose, or that's what you're supposed to be doing. Just simply learning and experiencing life and creating as you go along. Because, like I said in a previous YouTube video of mine, is we are creator beings and we create our phys our body. We create our physique. We create our body. We create our image, and we create our health. We create our fitness. So all that's physical related. We also basically create our relationships, um, with our parents and our children. We, we create our relationships with our friends and our colleagues. And we, we're co-creating these, by the way, but we, we have a huge creational part in it. And we also create and co-create our relationship with our romantic or sexual intimate partners too. So so many of us, and this is what I do too, and I ha don't do too much anymore, but I used to do it a lot, automatically blaming. Like, that's like just like blaming. It's like just being the victim and blaming. They're the two like modes of unconscious living. Like just blaming, being the victim, blaming the other person. So the opposite of blaming is taking responsibility and accountability. And then when you, when you just are being the victim and you're blaming others, you've no power to change because you're just a victim of the circumstance and the, you're blaming the perpetrator, okay? But when you start taking accountability and ownership of how you're influencing and how you've created and co-created how you've created your life and co-created your relationships then you're so full of power and you have the power to change your vibration and change your inspired action to create a beautiful relationship and a beautiful life the physique you want i want to create like a really muscular strong not like overly ridiculous muscular but just the athletic natural muscular toned lean body that i wish and had before and i desire an even greater health and physical energy and well-being i create all them everyone we create our life with our momentary choices and decisions and and that's it. That's pretty much it. And we create our decisions and choices through our mind. And we, yeah. But when through our mind, we create and um, being in the receptive mode for really cool, inspired and creative actions, which become basically our choices and decisions. So that's the breakdown. So we create our life from our ch daily choices and decisions. And we create or allow in or receive our, ch our um, choices and decisions from... Um, awareness of our mind and selective focusing and thinking where we get inspirational choices and decisions and thoughts so that's 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 how we do that so how do we get into receptive mode in the enlightened state of higher vibrational being that is through our mind and through start learning how to focus and think which i'll talk about in another video because that's the root of all creation and that's, that's what the buddha said what you think you become what you think about you bring about um, what you focus on expands and um, I, I say myself also generally what you can envision or imagine you can create so if you can imagine and envision a really good life an awesome relationship cool business we create our business and our work too we create everything in our life all the breakdown of it all we are creating and co-creating a future right now as we speak so you don't forget everyone you can never get it done and you cannot fail and um, it's not about the creation as so much at all as it is about the creating. It's all about the moment experience flowing along the river and the raft. It's not about like landing on the other side and getting off onto the bank. No way. It's about the river ride. It's about the journey in motion. So that means um, that also insinuates like accepting constant change and loss and comings and goings, ins and outs. This is the duality we live in. We live in the physical universe of time and space and duality and coming and going constantly. Everything's in constant change or constant flux, as some people use that word. There's nothing you should do and there's nothing you're supposed to do. If, if there's something you're supposed to do or you should do, that takes away from the whole truth of you being a divine creator being. We're creators. Like we have free will and 
what you're supposed to do is what you choose to do. It's like there's nobody telling you. There's no God or big beings out there telling you what you should or supposed to be doing. It's up to you, everyone. This is the playground, the canvas of life, and we are painting and drawing our own picture. We're making our own artist artistry tapestry. That's why it's so exciting and fun and enjoyable. We have free will and we get to choose from a, th a thousand million things what to do and to think and to focus on. Like everything has pros and cons, like I said in another video. Everything has positive and negatives. Every relationship with everyone in your life, every job, every home you live in, every body. There's always either a positive or a negative, a pro and a con to focus on and to think about and to put your attention on. <clears throat> Energy goes where attention flows. So we have the choice and the decision to choose to focus on what's positive or negative the pro or the con and i'm definitely a firm believer if even if there's like nine negatives and there's one positive focus heavily on the positive and then get inspired from a place of harmony peace and love and joy to deal with and tackle or change potentially the nine negatives or at least then potentially leave the situation or even the relationship with love in your heart and peace in your mind not from focusing on the nine negatives not from getting all stirred up and f like flustered and upset and angry not from that place but from focusing on the, the good and the positive and then feeling get into alignment and, and tune your vibration attune yourself that's where mastery is it's tuning your vibration learning to, to manifest or create or to tune your vibration like a radio dial and then you become inspired and creative and super powerful and then you make amazing choices and decisions to manifest and to create the life that you wish and desire in your heart the law of attraction yeah it's all related to that but people like talk about that like it's hocus pocus it's not about tricks and gimmicks like i don't personally really like the way people talk about the law of attraction it's like using almost using it sometimes some people to like you know reel people in like a fish hook kind of so to speak slightly negative talk yeah i'm aware of that and that's kind of okay more or less to be honest um but what it breeds in me is the desire just to get to the, the the grounded root of the matter where you totally what i feel like what i'm saying right now is like very clear and down to earth and it's applicable and it can change your life right here right today you don't have to like worry or think about like necessary too much about like a law of attraction or yeah for me it's the law of coming and going like the law of what you let in and what you let stay like because we, anyone can let it choose something and let it in but to, to let it stay is also again it's choices and decisions and it's based on our vibration and how we feel and what we think in our mind so that will you know then we'll, we'll, we'll choose other things we'll get away from certain things that don't serve our highest good or bring us happiness and joy so so yeah that's really what I want to say like I hope this video has helped um, is there anything else I can say um, I don't know I was gonna say at the end I love life. I focus on what you appreciate, uh, focus on gratitude, focus on what you want and what you like and what you love. Talk about what you like, love and want. Remember things with a with a um positive pers perspective typically. Um imagine what you want. Um you can almost even live in a slight little dream world just for a few seconds to take the sting off thinking about something or somebody which is an awkward, edgy subject and then you it can easily bring it down. Sometimes try and imagine the best outcome possible. Imagine, play around in your game, in your mind a little bit, like a little game. Envision and think about like the best possible solution and outcome, and feel feel more peace as a result in your heart. And then, then you can take easier action from an inspired place instead of from a place of resistance. So instead of, for example, thinking I have to do this, because if you think about it negatively or you think about someone negatively, you might think, oh, I have to do this in relation to them or to that. But if you start thinking really more positively, like what I like to do is it's served my life tremendously is I choose and want to do I want to do this. Like let's say it used to be an errand or a chore. I want to do it because I'm a creator and it, it serves my life to do it. And therefore I'm creating a really good outcome that I want. Instead of thinking, oh no, this is a chore or an errand, something else to do my business. I don't really like doing this stuff. I'm thinking, okay, well I want to do this because I'm a creator and I want to create the outcome. So I'm choosing deliberately as a conscious creator to do it. And this is a really amazing tactic, everyone. It's, it's just simply your mind, as I said, like the Buddha was right. You create your your life from your mind. So everything is perception and belief. That's that's what everything comes from, your perception and your belief. So anyway, it's cool. I like all this stuff. It's really nice to be able to make this video. I'm so happy and joyful to be able to do that. I love the internet. I love Facebook. I love YouTube. I love social media. I love nature. I love breathing. I love moving my body, especially. It's so good. 
I love good quality, like high vibrational friendships and relationships. I love intimacy. I love honesty. I love truthfulness. I love integrity. I love vulnerability. I love I love humility. I love that's humility is kind of like honesty more or less, isn't it? You know. So um, don't forget, everyone, if you like this video, give it a like and a share or subscribe if it's on YouTube. And if you want personal one to one um, healing and consultations with me, just in message me. Other than that, have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you again another time. I hope this video has been a really good help. I've really enjoyed chatting with you today. It's been good fun. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, universe. Fulfilled my life purpose. <laughs>